Hello everyone. Say anything to anybody? Hello. Well, another Walmart. This one says it's an express. Yeah, a lot of Walmarts in Mexico City. That video will give you an idea of the air pollution. Pretty obvious today. That's some sort of school. Colegio Senda. Preschool, primary, and secondary. All in one building. Now that says you can rent a loft up at the top of the hill. This would be a pretty good for a loft if there was a tall building up here. Probably get some very good views at night. This is where it would be good to have a map. And uh, because there's a straight shot here on this road where at least a half a mile and it doesn't look like there's anything I mean there might be something interesting I'll walk it a little ways might be a park but I don't think so I think it's gonna be more of this and this is not very interesting to be honest with you it's just strip malls that place right there huevos al gusto means eggs however you like 60 pesos three bucks uh, chicken and eggs, it's 60 as well. Chicken leet, uh, chilaquiles. And uh, boy, I'm squinting my eyes trying to read it. I can't read the other items. But yeah, if you're hungry, you have a couple hundred pesos, well, you can find tons of places to eat. This is the Francisco Pazenti Institute. Looks like they do primary, secondary, and uh, preparatory and bachelor's. Never heard of it. Right after this institute, there's a brand new bank and a turnaround, U-turn. Just get a view here. I'll walk down this way when I'm coming back. Oh, this is two-way traffic here. And I don't see a street name. All right, I have a decision to make here. I continue up there or do I go over to this parallel road right over there that has two-way traffic Oy. this looks to be a nice little community here and this sign says this is Colonia San Jose de Olivar Looks like some sort of park that's fenced off. All right, well, I decided to stay on this street for a little while longer. We got Privada Equus. Now, Equus in Latin, I believe, is horse. In Spanish, it's caballo. Residentes. Let's get a view. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Beautiful day. Hazy, but nice temperature. So this is Glacier Park, eh? 
to Kids Park. And this street is called Glacier. This is on the other side of that strip. Carnitas. Alright, we're pretty much getting to the top of the hill here, there we go, you know it's funny I was just thinking to myself, everybody and their brother has a cell phone everywhere now, but a lot of people I hear them, I don't even have to see what it is, but I'll hear that, that laugh that's very popular on uh, where there's the Indian guys are going, oh, 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 oh. and I see that, and I'm like, you know, I understand everybody needs entertainment, but if you want to improve yourself, well, it comes down to how are you using your time? Are you using it on wasteful activities, or are you using it on activities that will improve your life? And you can fill in the blank what that means to you. I know what it means to me. And uh, when I was younger, I was very, 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 I mean, I was Superman. I was very efficient. I could, well, I won't even say what I've said to other people about it. But as you age, you know, time speeds up. And it seems like you have less time to do whatever you need to do. Go. Benta, Benta, Benta! You get to hear traffic all day long on both sides. Rent a house in a condominium or buy. Don't park there. You get towed. Again, like the last place, packed in like sardines. Looks similar to this. I'm just going to go up to the top of this hill. That's it. Unless something looks really interesting. This is kind of boring for, for, for walking. So they sell materials from demolition. I assume that means used escaleras or stairs, got doors, windows, bathrooms. And right next door is this cute little uh, hamburger place. Oh, it's very nice. Alitas, Cortes, Tacos. Look at that grill going. Whew. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, and they deliver. I'm not really hungry yet. Well, people are out the door at that place. Los Tulipanes, Pasteleria. So that's a sweet shop, the sweet taste of home, El Dulce Sabor de Casa. And uh, we'll see, this looks like the top of something up here where the traffic is. See a Domino's, what's that sign say? Oh boy, I can't read that sign. I see Mexico Sur. I'm not sure where Oxford is, don't know it. Well, there's a restaurant up here, I think, San Jose. Well, it's either a sign for a church or this neighborhood, because I think this neighborhood is called San Jose as well. Uh, <laughs> 
There was a sign on that grass. Uh, let's see. Templo de San Jose del Buen Colegio. Oh, there it is. Rectory of San Jose of the Good Consejo. Consejo is uh, wish, I think. No, message? Yeah, message. The good message. There we go. I think there's an old, I think there's an old Pinto. The cars, I don't know, the Pinto and the Mustangs, they looked a little similar. I'm pretty sure that's, the Pintos are the one that blew up. Yeah, I don't think this is a Pinto. Uh, I don't know if this is a Pinto. Hola. Este es un Pinto or Mustang? Pinto. Uh -huh. So no hay problema con explosión? Boom! Actually, <laughs> 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 gracias. ¿Qué año es este? 73. 73? Sí. Oh, es mi edad. <laughs> gracias. <laughs> Buenos días. So it's a 73 and it is a Pinto. Yeah, I've noticed that. When you stop to look at a car, these guys, they're on you like white on rice, man. They're on you right away. Good salesman, I guess. Either that or they don't want you messing around with their car. Saloni Spar. Well, I think I gotta get a coffee. In a minute. Well, this might be the end of end of Tol Toluca. What street is this? I'm gonna sign off here. Get my orientation. So I just asked the uh, Colectivo driver what street this was. He said it's Desierto uh, de los uh, Leones, which is that street that I filmed um, that goes down to the Periferico. So I could take this. That's gonna be several miles. Now this street. I'm pretty sure that this street goes up to where I saw that concert up near the monastery, up on the hill, up near the Bosque, the forest. I'm going to walk up this way just a little bit. All right, so that's the intersection of Toluca and De Los Leones. I'm just going to go up a little ways. Famous last words. The Grand San Francisco. It's just a strip mall with a water fountain in front. There comes a big boy here. Okay, I am going to turn around here. I'm not familiar with Via Verdam or La Cima. There you go. The tap room. Well, if I had friends, we'd go in and have a beer. But. Unlike George Thorogood, I don't drink alone. Da -da -da -da. Can't read the name of that other street sign. This is De Los Leones. And I'll walk right up to this intersection here. Lebanese food. Yeah, there's uh, 
tour buses, so that definitely, I think, goes up to that bosk, the forest, and the uh, and the um, monastery. Well, it says uh, free Wi-Fi. Now, I don't know if that's a graveyard. Okay. Well, it's good that they've got that sign. I like that turban on the guy's head. The uh, dummy's head there. It's like a... This is a very interesting building. Looks like it's been stopped construction. And I asked the people, they said it's a school. I don't know which school, because I can't read it. But I saw on the map there were a couple schools up here. Using that free Wi-Fi, I was able to log into a map program. Something I like about Mexico City is you get up to some of these parks and some of these neighborhoods and they'll have uh, free Wi-Fi in honor of the Day of the Dead. Welcome to our showroom. Zero percent. I like the colors. All right, so market of uh, different restaurants in there. I'll have to definitely look. I am starting to get a little hungry, but I don't want to sit down anywhere. Yeah, this looks like an interesting place. I'll definitely have to explore it. And here's the sign going back to Toluca. But I'm going to go straight. So this is different restaurants. Yes. Comidas. Hola. Quantos uh, restaurantes está aquí? Uh, I... Más que 20? Más de 20. Oh. All right. Yo, yo voy a ver otra vez. Gracias. Bueno. I asked if there were more than... Uh, he didn't know how many, so I said, are there more than 20? And he said, yeah, more than 20. This was a fun thing about having uh, somebody locally who I could go out and do things with because then you come out and you try the different restaurants. I personally do not like to go to restaurants alone unless, you know, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's just a, a function, you know, it's like a function of the day, eat. People here are very friendly, usually. So, this guy was very nice. Hola. Hola. So this is uh, Pato Pascual. When people are friendly, I try to reciprocate. Uh, I was trying to say, I didn't stop for that coffee, but I'm gonna get the coffee when I see an OXO, if I see an OXO. So, according to the map, it's, um, if I went back the way I came, it's a, 
think it said it's uh, said it's about an hour walk, which is sounds about right. I forget how many miles it said it was. And this way was a little bit further because it's a slightly different direction. Although in many parts this is, which is interesting because I didn't think it was. I thought it was perpendicular, but it said. Well, somebody must love their cat, because that's the second sign I've seen for that cat. 50,000 pesos. That's uh, 2,500 bucks, right? 50,000? Yeah, it's $2,500 for a cat. Wow. They must send them to that, <laughs> that school. <laughs> Pond, a cell What was I saying? Oh, so uh, so I'm running out of daylight. I, I'm guessing I have 45 minutes of daylight if I'm lucky. And I'm more going this way. It's over an hour walk according to the phone. But that's all right. That's all right. I kind of want to do this. Because I've been on this in a car, and but when you're in a car, you see things much differently. So I'm going to get the walk in here. All right, Sonny. All right. So this is the intersection of Flores and De Los Leones. So Flores, I've been on. I'm trying to get my. Uh, Trying to get my bearings here. Yeah, it's funny when I uh, I was going to drive to Mexico, but they wouldn't let me take my car because my car was over 10 years old. But you get down here, you get down here, you get down here, and all I see are old cars. What's this street here? This street looks very familiar. Okay, well that street that I was standing at must be Flores. Now Flores, I remember uh, Flores um, from the other walk. This is probably very pretty in March when this tree turns purple. Uh -huh, Grana. Now, living on a major street in New England, the only benefit of that is in, in the winter time, your street gets plowed, usually first. I don't know any advantage to living on a major road in Mexico, because all you get is traffic. Well, I had to show, I had to show this, because the, it was the Waldorf, hotel for the pets and this is the Astoria and a lot of these look vacant inside the window Sebende I don't like it and even those have to be attached well, this looks like some sort of shortcut CDA del Potrero it sounds familiar Another beautiful Hakaranda there. I have to come back here in March. Now the one advantage of living on a main street is you get the colectivos coming up and down your street. This one goes right to Viveros. Wow. That's uh Viveros is over on line. Three, I think. Bravado Camino Real. I'm gonna have to see if that's an alley there. Look at the dog up top. They put the dogs up top so they don't get kidnapped. So you'll hear dogs barking at you and just gotta look up. 
Which street is this? That is... That one is there is Coadelis Floris. This one... I don't see a street name. Well, I don't have time to go up there. I'm tempted. Yeah, this says that it, there was a small sign on one of the buildings. And I don't see an intersection. It said this is called something de las Flores. I think it said court. I'll go up just a little bit further. Yeah, so I just asked those ladies, I said, is that De Los Leones? And they said, yeah, I said, okay. So this is a shortcut. This is the one where I was pointing out the older cars and that guy beeped at me to come down here. So instead of doing that loop, that winding loop I just did, this is like 10 times shorter. Oh, so this says it is on Desierto de los Leones. Which it's not, but... Some sort of field here, I think. Look at that interesting house. Small little indoor court here. This is pretty cool. Unless you kick it so far, it goes over this fence. Come on, Pops. Kick it home. Oh. Not bad, Dave. I should have been a football player. Went from my foot to my hand. I just wouldn't want to have to move in and out of this place. I have no idea where I am right now. But we'll go up here, see where this goes. Well, someone's shooting off fireworks. I don't know what CDA means. I'll have to look that up. Oh, Serrata, there you go, Serrata de los Flores. What's this over here? Oh, it's a roof. I've walked through that neighborhood over there. Well, I'll go up one more turn, one more, and then I gotta get going because we're running out of daylight. And. And I'm going the opposite direction of where I need to go right now. Hey buddy. I'm glad you went that way. This is what I was describing before. It's like the favelas with the uh, staircases in between. So, nice. Negro, eh? Yeah. Este es un primer pintado. Here. Yeah. Oh. Uh oh.
I have, uh, you know, it's a little, I think I was on the other side and came down the other side, if I remember correctly. All right, I'm going to turn around. I'm going to go up and see if there's a street up here. And if not, I'm going to turn around because there's been no outlet other than those staircases. So, pretty good exploration. And uh, good exercise if you want to go up and down those stairs as well. Well, oh, I thought there was a street here. Just go up to the next corner here. Yeah, I'm definitely out of my area here. Now that road, I have no idea what ro that road is. Yeah. I'll have to look at it on a map. That's not the peripherico. So this road is called Ocotillos. I have Ocotillos. I could take a guess what it means. And this is named the same thing. That does not make sense. We'll see what this road is up here. I'd rather I'd rather not go back the way I came if I can avoid it. Wouldn't that be funny if this was De Los Leones up here? Oh, he just hit something. Well, too funny. It is the intersection of Ocotillos and Desierto de los Leones. Up is here. And this is Flores right here. So, one big loop. One big loop. Interesting loop. So I'll take Flores, since I know that's a shortcut, and in 10 minutes I'll be back to where I was. See, there's that old LTD right there. I assume it's an LTD. I don't know my cars. LTT, Crown Victoria, whatever the hell they're called. And you know, it's funny, a lot of the nameplates are removed. So, it's a Ford. Yeah, I think it might be a Crown Vic. Yeah, Crown Vic. Yeah. Hey, hold on. Not bad for a guy who doesn't know his cars. I don't know how this thing would hold up against an earthquake, but obviously it's held up so far. You know, before I came to Mexico, there was a high degree of uh, seismic activity around the world. Small little pink house there. Probably all one family, they split the lot. Buddy, you want to go inside? Huh? You ready to go in and have something to eat? Yeah? You ready to go inside? If I had anything, I'd give it to you. <laughs> but, uh, I'm expecting there now. I forget the years, I think it was 1985 that Mexico City had that huge earthquake that killed, I think it killed like 200,000 people or 2 million, it was a huge number. And then they had another earthquake, I think in the 90s or the 2000s, that killed, killed a lot of people. You walk around the city and you'll see uh, several buildings that have the, um, uh, still have the big red X on them that and they're just sitting there empty, ready to be torn down in some of the nice neighborhoods. Okay, well, you can see the daylight is dwindling.
Okay, back to this intersection. Just did a big loop. This is how you learn the neighborhood, man. You just do these loops. And then you realize, oh. So this is De Los Leones again. Quecas y mucho más. Del Pozo. I'll just look up this street real quick. I'm not going to go down it because I don't have enough daylight. This is a Fonda. Fonda is like a small little restaurant. Uh, he's making tortillas. The Fonda must be upstairs then or in that alley. Yeah, this street must go to the lower. This must go to the lower areas that I was looking down on. Yeah, we'll come back and explore it another time when I come with more daylight. This next time too. We'll have to come back and explore these alleys. See where they take us. Lupita. All right, I gotta get moving, man. It's Saturday night and I ain't got nobody. I got some money cause I just got paid. But up, 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 up. Good. That's a pretty interesting neighborhood. Yeah, I like it. It's, uh, you know, you get a feel for a neighborhood, you know, it's got an energy. And then they've got all these back roads. This one is Calle Fresno, uh, oh boy, Fresno Titla? Yeah, Fresno Titla. Yeah, more, more to explore. Yeah, I probably can come back and bang out all this in an afternoon. Bente. Michelado. Con Botania. So, looks like in the driveway you can pull in, can pull in and eat. Oh, they get fraps. Wonder if they do uh, aguacate. If they do aguacate coca, I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna ask. Yeah, they said they won't do aguacate, but a lot of good, good flavors in those prices. That's a pretty good price, man. And I, I smell french fries. So, I'll have to come back and try the food here. I just, uh, I just don't want to sit down. I'm just, uh, I've got too much to walk. But I'll come back there for lunch one day. Seems like nice, nice people. They're very nice. All right, at the Plaza Tetelpan. I just got a coffee. You know, and the funny thing is, is the, all the different auctions will have different prices. And so the one, I'm, the one that's near me, because it's kind of out of the way, it's only 22 pesos for a coffee. This one charged 23.5. But on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, if you have a cup, they only charge you 15 for a refill. And sushi is very popular in Mexico City. Sushi places are everywhere. All right, signing off. We've got about 15 minutes, and then it's going to be pitch black. Yeah, because I've been going around in circles, I think I still have 45 minutes to walk to get back to my uh, 
my room. Maybe longer, who knows? I've never done this trail before, or this this route. It doesn't matter. I have my coffee, cheers. This will give me a boost. The problem is having that chocolate, the chocolate, I had the chocolate covered uh, pecans. And it gave me a boost, it gave me a real boost, man. I felt like Superman there for about an hour. But now I'm starting to come down. And uh, for the last week, I'd only been eating once a day, but the last two nights, I was so hungry. Two nights ago, I had um, four tacos and a bowl of guacamole with tomatoes and onions. Delicious. And then last night, last night I bought some frozen spinach and I made my own, uh, I've got the blender, so I made some spinach with uh, cinnamon and uh, coconut milk and uh, avocado. And it was spectacular. You know, you put the avocado like in the last 30 seconds of the blending and it turns it from liquid into like a, almost like a yogurt consistency. It's fantastic. All right, so, all right, so, all right, I'm going to sign off here. Now, Baranca, that's the white horses. Samba Talo, Telepan, Televisa. See, those are all the other way, uh, Televisa and Baracas. Tacos over there. I, yeah, I'm tempted to stop, but I'm not going to. I can't read that. This is a restaurant or ice cream or yeah, ice cream I think, and then an LED place and a pharmacy. It's like in China, pharmacies are near the corner because when the hygiene is terrible, people get sick. See, they get all these little alleys. A lot to explore, man. See, these type of neighborhoods are very, very interesting when you walk in and explore them. You find some interesting places. I like the, uh, the Monument to Mary there. But daytime's better. More food. Tacos, tostadas. Rancheros. Oh, you. Yeah. Oh. Nice. Chicken. Abarotes. Lucky. I have no idea what that is. Doesn't say anything other than lucky. These are coming out, those beautiful flowers. Modern cuts. Cuts, children's cuts. Garnels. I don't see what the prices are. A lot of people around here. Different fruit here. Cantaloupes. Anios. This is magnolia. In the back of the church here. Well, that's a nice bike, huh? Wow.
Did he hit you? Yeah. Hola. Hey, pause. Tamales. Yeah, I'm not a uh, tamale fan. Never have been. They're, they're, they're messy. I mean, if you're sitting at a table, but on the street, no way. No way. Parroquia Santa Maria de la Natividad. And it's closed. All right, onwards. This guy decided just to turn around wherever he wants. Hey, as long as nobody hits you, I guess it's okay. All right, so this is the intersection of De Los Leones and Moral. Yeah, it doesn't look so inviting. Potato chips and the other thing you got to be careful of, and again another similarity between Mexico and China, is walking on the sidewalks. You know, cars will be there. There'll be steps. Sometimes no steps. Sometimes they'll just drop off. So if you're walking around down the sidewalk, you know, and you're looking this way, uh, you could get hurt. And I've seen it happen where people have a face plant, not usually this far. So it's always a good habit when you're looking around, just stop, plant your feet, and look. And that way you can't get hurt. High curbs, so a lot of people trip over curbs as well. That's probably what that drunk guy did, is he probably stepped off the curb, lost his balance, and fell right on his nose. Hola. Muchos sugandos, eh? Hey, que pasa? Uh, no tango, man. All solo tango cart tarjeta. All right, bueno. He's asking me for money so he could get something to eat. And, uh, you know, I hate to be cruel, but literally having a white face, it's, um, if I wasn't Mexican, if, I'm sorry, if I was Mexican, chances are he would have ignored me. All right, signing off. And just as I signed off, so this is a good example. See, if you're just looking up at the rent signs, you step off here, you know, and then you fall your face right onto that, or onto that. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah, a lot of, so nighttime, you just got to really pay attention. Daytime, it's a little bit easier to see. But here's another example here. Hello, hola. There's just things to be aware of. So people who walk around, and even sometimes I get, I get caught up in it where I'm looking in a shop and I'm moving. And um, like, look at this, oi. That wouldn't, that would hurt. It's probably not coming out that well. Nice vista shot of the neighborhood down there. <gasps> Button your lip, Muggsy. Well, this is another monument to Mary. Yeah, this is taking a lot longer than I thought it would, walking down this uh, street. I hope that my sense of direction is correct and it's coming out where I think it's supposed to be coming out but so far so far it's uh, not and if I go another 15 minutes then I might have to I might have to uh, consider the fact that I'm wrong but uh, 
Oh wow, look at the coche. The mini coche. I meant Pequena, but Spanglish. Alright, I'm going to sign off here. Yeah, this is not going to come out, but uh, I'll take it just in case. Very strange. a full collectivo. So this is back to, uh, <laughs> this is back to Alta Vista, man. I didn't know De Los Leones uh, fed into Alta Vista, because this is that furniture place. Yep, so this is the path that used to be the train tracks right here, and I figured I'd just get the, uh, those lights that are illuminated at night, those tubes. These are not working, but you can see there are two of them down there that are working. Well, my phone says that I've only gone about eight and a half miles and I can tell you my bones tell me I've walked farther than that so this phone must not be calibrated I'm about uh, I'm only about ten minutes away now I'm taking this shortcut basically an alley through there's a school right here I don't know what I don't I don't remember what the name of the school is it's a, like an artistic school I remember I tried to get in there to use the ATM and they wouldn't let me in another oldie here is a Plymouth I think or a Dodge what is this? Uh, Rambler Rambler classic Well, anyways, definitely a full day of walking. You know, I've walked full days before and end up like 20 miles. Let's see, it's uh, 7 o'clock now. And I left around 1, and I've been walking the entire time, but most of it. There's no way it's 8 miles. That's like a mile an hour. Yeah, my, my legs are saying 15 miles is how far I've gone. Now, I am debating whether I'm going to eat anything or not, or just have my, uh, my um, avocado spinach smoothie. But I'm feeling a little hungry. But, uh... I don't know what's going on up here. I'm gonna flip the camera. Who knows what's going on? The police cars here will be driving around with the lights on. You think they're going someplace, and they're probably going to uh, get their tacos. I'm going to sign off here. I just finished putting the avocado in and look at that consistency. It's like a yogurt. It's so delicious. This is just spinach, coconut milk. Oh, I forgot the cinnamon. I'm going to put the cinnamon in now. Okay, got the cinnamon here. Uh, 
I I already washed the top, so this could get interesting. stuff.